Today in our 2018 Chevrolet Traverse, we're going to be doing a test fit on the Yakima Jetstream Crossbar Roof Rack System. With this system in place, it's going to allow us to carry bike racks, kayak carriers, cargo boxes, and more. Now the Jetstream Crossbars are 60 inches long. You can see how they stretch across the whole roof of our Chevrolet Traverse. This is great because it's going to allow us to carry multiple accessories on our bars. So maybe a couple bike racks or a bike rack and a kayak carrier. Now the bars here are in black, but they're also available in silver. So if the silver is something you're interested in, see eTrailer.com. You'll notice how they have an aerodynamic design. So that's where the Jetstream name comes from. These are going to be a lot quieter than your round or square bars. These are gonna help cut down on some of that noise. You'll still have some noise, but not as much as those round or square bars. Now they're gonna work with your standard clamp-on accessories, as well as your T-slot accessories. Simply pop off that end cap, and that T-bolt is just gonna slide right over the top of that rubber strip. There's no need to trim that around your accessories. It'll give you a nice clean look when you put it, into, when you put it in the position you'd like. Put the end cap back on, and you're all set. Now the crossbars are held in place by four baseline towers. Now underneath their cover here, it hides our hardware. It also protects it from the elements. Now the clips are what keep our towers attached to our roof. You can see here how they match the contour of that. They're gonna hook on the inside and they too are rubber coated. That way they don't harm or scratch that finish should you wanna take it off. Put my cover back on here. And I'd like to mention this plastic keyhole here. We can trade this out for a Yakima metal lock core to add more security to our roof rack system. That way no one can remove it from our roof. Now this roof rack system has a weight capacity of 165 pounds. You do however wanna check with your Traverse's owner's manual to see if it can support that much weight. From the top of the roof to the top of the bar is about four and a half inches. From the top of the roof to the underside of the bar is about three and a half inches. We can start off by grabbing our foot or tower. We'll take our plastic clip and we're going to click it in place just like that. Then we'll take the metal nut and put that down over the top of the plastic clip and the bolt. We'll hold it in place. We wanna turn it upside down and take our included tool and tighten that up. In order to get access to that bolt, we need to take off the cover here. We'll squeeze in on the two sides and fold the cover out and it should come right off. We wanna pull out the little door here and that's gonna give us access to the bolt. Now we don't want to tighten this down all the way, we just want to get it started to where it's going to hold that metal nut in place, just like this. On the bottom side, we then want to take our pad and clip that in place. Just give it a good squeeze, and it should pop right on. You want to make sure both sides pop in place. Give it a good pull. Now you'll want to turn the crossbar over to where this channel here is visible. Then we'll take our tower, turn it upside down, and slide that on. Now you wanna make sure you get it lined up, push it on. Sometimes that piece of rubber underneath gets caught. You wanna be sure and lift that up. That way we can scoot it the rest of the way on. Now per our instructions, we need to set it to our scale. It's kind of difficult for you to see, but our scale is located right here on our Jetstream crossbar. For our instructions, we need to set it at 40 and 7 eighths. So we'll push it until we get to that position. And then we can set our pitch and toe. Now our pitch and toe are located right here. This one's our pitch and this one is our toe. Per our instructions, the pitch needs to be set to B. That's gonna be that middle line. So we can go ahead and tighten that one down. What we're doing is we're just lining up the bolt with that center line. Go ahead and tighten that down. And our included tool here is gonna click. That's how we know it's properly torqued down. Just like that. Now for our toe, it needs to be set to position two, which is also the middle line. So we can take our pad and adjust it down until that's lined up. Then we can tighten this down and we'll also listen for a click. Then we can put on our end cap and we're ready to set our crossbar in place. Now when we set it in place on our traverse, we want to be sure that the rounded portion of the bar is facing forward, just like you see it here. And we'll gently rest it down. And per our instructions, we need to be 32 inches from the front of the front crossbar to the front of the rear crossbar. So I'm going to grab my tape measure, 
And we need to be sure and check that on both sides. So again, 32 inches, just about there. Good. So we'll grab our clip. We need to be sure that this gray door is opened up here. And we're gonna be focused on this bolt underneath of it. But you can see how this little tab here is sticking up. That actually needs to be facing down. So we're just gonna grab that, turn it over. Then we can take our clip. We're gonna slide it in underneath here until it clips into place. You can see how that's kind of locked in. I can't pull that out. Then we can take our included tool and we're gonna tighten up this bolt right here first. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna adjust the angle so it's correct with the top of our roof. Now we don't need to listen for any clicks on this one. From there, we can come up underneath and start tightening down this one. And this is gonna help take some of the slack out of the clip. Now we need to do that on both sides before we start completely tightening it down. Once both clips are making contact with the inside of the door, all the slack is taken out, we can then begin tightening them down. Now it's still a good idea to alternate sides. I've already gone ahead and mostly tightened the other side. So for this side, we just need to be listening for those clicks. After that, we can close up our gray door on both sides and then put on our cover. And that cover just clips in like so, give it a good push, and you're all set. Once everything's assembled and installed correctly, you're ready to load up your favorite roof mount accessory and hit the road. But that's gonna complete our look and installation of the Yakima Jetstream Crossbar Roof Rack System on our 2018 Chevrolet Traverse.